Okay, uh, we now uh, do another question. This one is a follow-up to the question number two about acceleration. It says, what is the direction of acceleration of a car which is going around the circle? So we already mentioned that uh, if a car is making a sharp turn, its acceleration is greater. So now, what is the direction of that acceleration? A says, away from the center. B says, toward the center. C says, in the direction of its velocity. Okay, so the, it ends up that the answer is towards the center. So this is known as centripetal, centripetal acceleration. Okay, so let's try to understand what's happening here, why it is towards the center. If a car is going like this around the turn, so its velocity is like that, right? And uh, an instant later, the velocity is going to be like this. Okay, so the velocity has gone from pointing this way to this way, right? So uh, we notice that the direction of the velocity tends to be changing kind of downward. Okay, initially the velocity was pointing this way, then this way, then this way. If we subtract those vectors, and I'm not going to do formal vector subtraction right now, but if we subtract those vectors, we tend to see that it was initially pointing up, then slightly pointing horizontal, and then downward, so the acceleration is towards the center because the change in uh, direction of the velocity is downward. So initially it began up, then it went down. So it was accelerating downward, then it went negative, so that means it's accelerating toward the center. The other way to say oh, that it's toward the center is that um, just from your daily driving experience, in order for this driver to make a turn like this, what does the driver have to do? The driver has to take the wheel and turn it this way, right? This way towards the center, right? They have to turn it this way. So what is that doing? That turning of the wheel is causing the tires to turn this way, right? To turn towards the center, okay? And the tires are pushing outward on the road and the road is pushing inward on the tires. So in order for a car to make that turn, you have to apply a force on the wheel. The wheel is going to turn the tires this way. So imagine this is the, uh, this is the car. The tire turns this way by you turning the wheel. The tires exert a force on the road outward from the circle. And the road in turn pushes the car inward towards the center and then that, thereby the acceleration is towards the center. Now, some people use this word centrifugal acceleration when referring to this one, centrifugal acceleration. What does that mean? So does that mean when an object is going around the, cir uh, the uh, circle, they're accelerating outwardly, centrifugally? The answer is no. Centrifugal acceleration is kind of like a misnomer. That's the acceleration we feel like we're accelerating because we are inside of an object that's accelerating centripetally. So here's, let me show you what I mean by that. Okay? If you are inside of a, a car or some other objects that's turning, so imagine you are inside of a car, and here's your car, Okay, and you are the driver, right? Imagine there is a package in the back seat. Imagine that there is a package like this on this side of the, uh, on, the, on, the drive, on the passenger side. Imagine there is a package on the seat, right? And you are going around the turn like this. And if that package is not seat belted to the seat, what's bound to happen to that package? As you're making the turn, car is going to eventually come here, right? Where is the package going to end up, right? The package is going to end up more close to here, right? So when you're going, when you're making a turn like this, the tendency of your body is to want to move outward, right? So you go like this and uh, you look back on your back seat and the package has moved toward you in your direction. So by the time you look back, the package looks like it's here. 
So according to the package, the package feels as if it's been pushed outward from the circle, from the center. So the package feels and thinks the acceleration is centrifugal, outward. When in reality, what actually happened? The package wanted to go in a straight line, right? Like this. What law of Newton says that all objects want to go in a straight line and keep going in a straight line at constant speed? It's Newton's law number one, the law of inertia. So it's the package's own tendency to want to go in a straight line and made the package end up here when the car was actually tr turning towards the center, right? If you had put a seatbelt on the package, the package would have accelerated with the car centripetally, right? So the, this is centripetal acceleration towards the center. So the direction of the acceleration of the car is still inward, but the package feels centrifugal force, but there's actually no centrifugal force. The package's own tendency to want to move in a straight line is causing the package to move outward from the uh, center and think that it's being pushed outward, right? So if you have a door open, imagine, and imagine if you have a door open here on the, pack, on the passenger side, what's going to happen to the doors? Well, draw a straight line here. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. The door is going to end up like this, right? Draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. This door is going to close, right? Close. This door is going to close. Why? Because its inertia carried it in a straight line. So the door is going to think it's pushed outward from the center. This door is also going to think it's pushed outward. But that's just because of their inertia going in a straight line. So the concept of centrifugal force doesn't really exist. It's actually the law of inertia, which makes it go in a straight line. But the actual acceleration of the car is inward towards the center, okay? So the answer to that question was that the acceleration is towards the center B, okay?